Welcome back to CurrentAdies.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Six Months of Set Theory and Higher Order Logic. This is Logic 301, month number three, Piano Arithmetic. So, today we're going to be looking at what is zero. Ooh. Zero is many things. It is a key number representing emptiness, nothingness, a starting point for numbers. It is a unique number. It is neither positive nor negative. Zero is the only number where multiplying it by something always gives you zero, and adding it to anything always gives you the original number. Most claim that zero is neither prime nor composite, despite having infinite factors. In philosophy, there is much to be said about nothingness. Whether it exists, whether any two nothingnesses are actually the same nothingness, because they have no differences in properties, whether there is a possible world with nothing in it and more. But an analysis of most of these questions will need to await another video. For the purposes of piano arithmetic and set theory, we will focus on zero as a starting point in its role as the first natural number. In order to build out the piano postulates, we need to define three fundamental concepts. Zero, the starting point for the natural numbers, succession or successorship, how we get from one number to the next, and the natural numbers themselves, the universe of all numbers that we are talking about. The goal is to define these concepts in such a way that we can use our axioms of set theory to prove the piano postulates. We also want to make sure that the numbers we are creating behave in the way we would intuitively expect natural numbers to behave. So, let's take a look. We could define zero in any number of ways. We could define it as all sorts of different sets, but the most intuitive way, and the way that most practitioners of set theory define zero, is to define it as the null set. The null set is the starting point in set theory as well. It has zero members, and similar to zero, it represents nothing. The definition for this is quite simple, as we are just assigning zero to the null set, the notation of the numeral zero essentially to the null set. We're going to use the numeral zero to represent this, and we're going to call this zero def in proofs. Up next, varieties of successorship. Watch this video and more here at carnades.org, and stay skeptical everybody.